Greetings from Botswana. I'd like to talk to you a little bit today about miracles. What we're seeing today, at least around here in Africa, we're seeing a, lot, a great promotion of miracles. We see this on Facebook. We see this uh, on posters. Oh, we have a miracle. We have deliverance. We have healing and stuff. I want to make it clear from the very start. We believe in miracles, and my wife and I have seen a lot of miracles. But uh, we've been starting to learn that there are problems. There are problems here when you start talking about miracles, and you really just need discernment for it, because miracles do not bring salvation. Uh, as my wife and I would go to share, we like to share with people, number one, to give glory to God for what he has done. Number two, if there are Christians there, would strengthen their faith, hopefully, to call on God more earnestly, to know that he answers prayer. And three, if the people don't know the Lord, it would show them that he is a prayer-hearing God. He's not a figment, figment of our imaginations in any way. So all of this sounds very good, but what we found in time was that there were some listening to us. They had no intention of giving their lives to Jesus Christ. They had no intention of repenting from their sins. They were trying to find out how to get money or how to get other things that they wanted. It could be in a relationship. It could be a job. Uh, it could be a healing. And this is, these are some of the problems that you can look at. So I just wanted to, to sum them up quickly. Three, three reasons as far as why people might be looking for miracles. Uh, for one thing, when you're seeing it on signs, when you're seeing it advertised, many times this is just a promotion of self. It's a promotion of self-ministry. It's not really something designed for an outreach to people. It's a way of promoting yourself. Usually people don't realize they're doing that but we really need the Spirit to give us uh, some wisdom. Another thing is people are seeking uh, miracles selfishly. They're really seeking gifts from God, and then they will be on their way. They're not really, there's been nothing about conviction of sin or repentance or anything like that, so they just want what they can take. And what we have to remember also in the end is that not all miracles are godly. We've been warned about this in Scripture. That uh, miracles also can be used by the devil. He is powerful to do these things. Now, at the bottom of the page in the description, I'm going to have uh, quite a few scriptures uh, and their headings as far as you can look them up and see what the Bible has to say. I'm only going to mention a couple here, just so you can see that even with Jesus doing miracles, that didn't mean people were coming to him for salvation. All right. Uh, probably the greatest example we can see is in Luke chapter 16. You might remember that there was a rich man with a beggar Lazarus. The beggar Lazarus who was laid at his gate daily and he wanted crumbs that fell from the rich man's table. Well, in time they died and the rich man was sent into hell. But, the, but Lazarus was being comforted in Abraham's bosom. And the rich man was having a conversation with Abraham. And in the end he is saying, Abraham, at least send Lazarus back to my brothers so that he can warn them of this place. And Abraham said, They have Moses and the prophets. Let them, let them hear them. And the rich man said, No, but if someone returned to them from the dead, they will believe. And Abraham said, Though one be raised from the dead, they will not believe. If they have not believed Abraham and the prophets, they will not believe one rising from the dead. This is a very sobering uh, account of how little miracles really do in the end. Okay, another example I would use was from another one named Lazarus, a good friend of Jesus. Remember Mary, Martha, and their brother Lazarus, whom he loved very much, the scripture said, and he had died, and Jesus went and raised him from the dead. Most of you will probably remember that. But what was the response to that? Yes, there were many Jews that believed on Jesus, but there were also Jews that wanted to kill Jesus and Lazarus after this was. You have to read this account, especially late in, late in John chapter 11 and in the beginning of John chapter 12. It tells you uh, what's going on. It also says that many of the, the rulers believed in Jesus, but they wouldn't confess him, lest they should be put out of the synagogue. So it's a question of how much uh, these miracles were, were really doing. Uh, yes, 
They are a testimony to God and his power, but is, there is no clear-cut uh, way of salvation. We once heard a person say in ministry, said uh, that they had a saying that one genuine miracle is worth a thousand sermons. And I have to strongly disagree with that, because the dime has come when they will not endure sound doctrine, and they need that doctrine. Okay. Another example I could use is back in the book of John. In John chapter 9, you might remember he, uh, Jesus healed a man who had been blind from his birth. They didn't want to acknowledge it. People weren't getting saved hand over fist. And the parents of this blind man wouldn't even acknowledge Jesus because they didn't want to be put out of the synagogue. And so you see, these things are by no means, uh, the miracles are by no means a guarantee what we need to do is promote the cross, preach the cross, and the need for repentance and remissions of sins, because that's what really counts. Do you remember? Do you remember when Jesus was saying that if your eye offends you, pluck it out? It is better to enter into life with only one eye than to have both eyes and be cast into hell? Wasn't he saying, in effect, that the healing, the physical healing, was not so important as the spiritual? I really do pray that you would take time to look up these scriptures at the bottom and also uh, have a reference to a terrific book by a woman named Johanna Michelson called The Beautiful Side of Evil. It's a terrific account of how Satan does many miracles. May God bless you.